Inside Edition has been investigating reported incidents of police brutality from coast to coast, but these incidents have nothing to do with the cops themselves. The charges are against police dogs. As we have reported, these dogs can be very vicious, even lethal. Here's Joel Loy with the latest. Stop your mix. For decades, the police dog has been an invaluable extension of the uniformed officer. Stop him! But this living police tool, by its very nature, brings with it controversy. Some say it's like unleashing an 85-pound chainsaw. It can be a great asset to a department, uh, but if it's not trained properly, just like you don't train someone in firing properly, it won't be used properly. And in Los Angeles, the controversy rages over whether police dogs are being mistrained and misused. LAPD dogs bit more than 900 people in a three-year period, according to the ACLU. In this incident, a suspect severely mauled. Another man bitten in the face who later turned out not to be the suspect police were looking for. And instances like this dramatic video, allegedly shot by police in 1989. Police are looking for a suspected car thief. A dog gets the scent and goes for the suspect hiding under a couch. Police say the suspect kicked the dog to provoke the attack. But after the unarmed 14-year-old is clearly down, the dog appears to be allowed to continue the attack, biting and dragging the suspect by the leg. The young man's lawyers contend he was never charged with a crime. Another youth, Curtis King, was 15 years old when he was found and mauled by a police dog after joyriding in a stolen car. He spoke to Inside Edition's Rick Kirkham. All of a sudden the dog just came and started barking and pulled me out by my arm right here. He and pulled they, you out from mm -hmm. underneath the building? Yes. And then they, I had stood up, they turned to put my hands behind my back. At what point did the dog then begin to chew viciously on you? When the um, police officer told the dog to chew. The officer actually gave the command to chew? Yes. And what happened then? The dog just started going from my legs, chewing him, just, just chewing him and pulling, moving his head as he was doing it. And the officers just stood around and watched? They just stood around and watched. They were just, it was spoiled and they were just standing around me. We are saying that, that the use of these dogs constitutes unconstitutional uh, deadly force and that these dogs should not be used as of now. Yes. The ACLU and other groups are demanding an immediate moratorium on the use of police dogs and the so-called find and bite policy. This week, a two-hour hearing was held before the police commission, who heard from other attack victims. The dog attacked me while I was asleep. I woke up while the dog was biting on my leg. It mauled my leg, my arm. And from another, the disturbing allegation that the animals are allowed to bite as a reward for doing a good job. The officer also stated to me, you know, we must reward the dog for finding you. And upon that command, the canine dog grabbed me by my leg shook me for a couple minutes and on a cable access television show allegedly produced by the lapd that notion seems to be reinforced a patrol dog for example his reward of course is to bite the suspect we don't want to start <laughs> that's, that's the reward but the lapd says that officer was talking about other dogs not lapd search dogs and that the thought that they would allow such a policy is ludicrous the dogs are under control the business about find and bite is not true. Those dogs are safe, and they are an asset to this community. Well, the police commission in Los Angeles has not banned the use of the dogs, despite pressure to do that.